Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about why you should leave traction control on. I'll be going over the truth about this matter. Let's get right into the video. As you saw right there, that button that I just showed you said DSC off. And DSC is just the version on this car of traction control. Many manufacturers have different variations of the traction control function. And yes, every manufacturer might offer a few additional features, but at the end of the day, the traction control function whatever it may be called for that specific manufacturer um, is mainly to keep control of the car to give it traction and keep control and you should drive with it on now in most cases by default when you start the car the traction control will be on however you can turn it off in most vehicles um, in this car over here it's to the side and in my other Honda CRV in my other vehicle it's also to the side if I push this button right here it actually turns it off you can see that light there it says off okay DSC off if I push it again, that light disappears, which means it's on, okay? So at the end of the day, you can turn off or on your traction control, and I recommend that you drive with it on. I'll tell you why. Over the years, car manufacturers have come a long, long, long way in understanding how to keep control of a car you know 50 years ago if you were driving a car and it didn't have features like abs brakes like traction control like differentials and stuff like that all these additional control features right um even just the safety features in general of a car with regards to airbags and stuff are great but specifically the control features that allow you to keep control of the car are a key 50 years ago it was much easier to lose control of a car you had to drive within certain parameters and if you exceeded those parameters you ran a huge risk of getting into an accident nowadays with traction control and other features similar to that it allows you to keep control of the car now if you turn it off okay it's not like you're driving a car from 50 years ago but if you turn it off all of those safety features uh, with regards to controlling the car that we've come so far with over the last 20 30 years okay uh, it's like you're driving an older car that doesn't have those features and which means that you're going to run the risk of of losing control of the car now traction control does more than just make sure that your tires don't spin primarily it makes sure that your tires are not spinning but it makes sure you know in, in most vehicles at least in most modern vehicles it is going to allow the power to be sent to specific wheels differently which is better for if one half of your car is on ice and the other half is not right sometimes you're driving the right side of your car is on ice and the left side isn't right and if the tires are trying to spin at the same rate it's going to cause some serious loss of control so with that being said it's not just about preventing your tires from spinning in the rain like right now it's, it's wet outside it's raining outside it was raining and if i turned off traction control and i floored the gas pedal my tires would spin okay you know and if i left traction control on they would start spinning and then the traction control would stop them from spinning but it's way more than that okay so I recommend that you drive with it on because it allows you to take advantage of all of the control features, the car control features that we've learned over the last 10, 20, 30 years. Okay. All of the new technologies, it allows you to take advantage of those. And if you turn it off, uh, you're not having those features. So it's like you're driving a car that is very old without those control features, which runs the risk of losing control. Now, if you're on a track, that's a different story. You know, if you're if you're driving on a track and you want to have full ability to take the car to its limits on a closed off racing track, that is totally different. I'm talking about driving in regular everyday situations, a parking lot, a road, you know, a highway, leave your traction control on. It's going to allow you to take advantage of all of the car control features that we've come so far with over the years to, to make sure that we don't lose control. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.